going to dip into a little history lesson. That's right. We are here with the Roman style like meal that is going to be being prepared. And we're actually going to be with, it is Madri Madrista. Can you pronounce your name for me? Magistra. Madrista. That is a very beautiful name. Thank you Madrista. so much for being here. And you're going to be showing us all these like wonderful recipes that you have here. Yes. I'm going to be showing you actually 2,000 year old recipes. Um, basically, the Romans used olives as their staple food. So olives is what we're going to start with, and they made a um, recipe that's sort of like bruschetta. Ooh. So you need chopped up black olives and chopped up green olives. Okay. So here, I'll let y'all add. Okay. <laughs> Ready, set, go. All right. There we go. <laughs> and then... Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> then they added a little olive oil to the, the mixture. They also added uh, vinegar, but I do not because we pickle our olives, and so there's already more than enough vinegar in there. But what we have to add is coriander fennel, and cumin. Okay. And if you'll note, the, the spices need to be ground up first. Okay. okay. So if you'll add a little bit, that's, ooh, that's a little Ooh. bit much, but that's okay. And this Just, is actually what the, this is what the Romans ate, right? This is what the Romans ate. Go ahead and start grinding there. Okay. And I can add the fennel. The fennel's already powdered. Um, the Romans used a lot of different spices, uh, but a lot of them are the same as the ones that we have today. Cumin is one of their main ones. Oh, and, interesting. Um, Yes, and it's not one you would expect. It's not one you would expect because no. the, the, the flavors are more like, uh, I put that in a lot of Hispanic dishes. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And in a minute, we're going to make uh, cumin and carrots. Ooh. In fact, while you're grinding mm -hmm. that, I'm going to go ahead and get him started. Okay. Okay. The carrots have to be cooked. Okay. Perfect. So we have to start. Okay. So what do we do? Here's the fun part. We have to, to <laughs> not set the st studio on fire. This is, that's yes. my, one, my one job when I'm here is to not set things on fire. There we there go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. hold it there. And then there's your spatula. Okay. Again, we're going to add olive oil. Perfect. And just enough to give it a something that, that can soak into the carrots. There you go. We're cooking with exactly. hot oil over here. And don't give you too many. Not too many carrots. There we go. And then, of course, cumin. She's still grinding the, the spices <laughs> for this. She's so still I'm going to use the powdered I'll cumin. Grind. Yeah. I will grind until you tell me to stop. And just a little bit of cumin. That's all you need. Yes, just a little bit. And you just basically cook them until they're tender. And Wonderful. carrots with cumin give them a totally different flavor. They're very, very savory when you cook them with cumin rather than uh, kind of sweet when you cook them yeah. with their modern oh, that meals. smells so yeah, okay. good. And now I'm grinding these because, uh, you know, obviously back then they didn't have everything that we do today to exactly. kind of, you know, all the modern conveniences and even things to preserve food. But there is a way to preserve food, right? There is. There is. Uh, we were talking about the melon earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically... We started our mixture for the marinade for the melon. Okay. And what do we have in there already? Um, well, we're going to add a little bit more. We need uh, red wine vinegar. Right here? Yes. Okay. A little bit? Just a little bit. Okay. There you go. Right. And then add some more honey. Add some more honey. The important honey. thing when you're pickling fruit uh -huh. is to add honey to it mm. because you do not want it too bitter. Okay. That's and a good then tip. Good tip. I suggest you do it in a... Tupperware container. Uh huh. Make sure it is good. Uh huh. That way you can do this. Shake it up. Exactly. Okay. And then grab your honeydew. Okay. And honeydew doesn't have much flavor, and this gives it a very, very pungent flavor. Mm -hmm. And now it's going to be something that's the the most flavorful fruit in the in Shake the bowl. Yes. And then you just leave it, and you can. So how long? How long will this last? <laughs> um. Several weeks. Oh. Several weeks. And no icebox at all. Just and don't put it out in the sun. This is really cool. icebox. So how did they keep it cool? Uh, they used to bury things in the ground. They had huge amphora underneath the ground. Uh, this kind of amphora. Uh -huh. and, and under the ground, it's cooler. Oh, okay. So this will last for our couple <laughs> That'll last of weeks. That's now, so neat. Did the Romans eat three meals a day? They did, actually. Um, they had a breakfast called Ion Coculum, mm -hmm. and that was eaten at dawn. They would have literally gotten up and eaten the leftovers from the night before. And then Prandium was lunch. And that would have been eaten out. The Romans actually had fast food. That's There's cool. There's places called Thermopolium, <laughs> uh -huh. and it would have had soup and sandwiches and things like that. And you could actually eat um, your lunch out, purchased, just like we do today. That's Speaking of lunch, we, we do have some <laughs> of your students here eating. Yes, do. Do. <laughs> <laughs> Now, they are, they are having some of the honeydew, right? Yes, and some of the bread and with the olives. Okay. So. Now, I believe the carrots are done. So once they're done, yes, once we're going to move done, them over. Let's put them in a container. There we go. Okay, I'll let you. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Right, they just got they got right there. Look at that. There yes. we go. Okay. 
Awesome. And then, okay. There we go. There's right turn there. off the fire. And right? that, that is perfect. Cause, and they're, and they're hey. just tender. They're just tender. <laughs> okay. Now, wh Andre, what is the Junior Classical League? For um, those who don't know, the Junior Classical League is a uh, we're a branch of a national organization. Um, we are basically um, we want to preserve and promote the study of Latin. And uh, at basis, actually, every student takes Latin in sixth grade. So um, that's why some of our students out there um, basically are so young. Normally, middle schoolers don't take Latin, but at our school, they do. Oh. And um, we try to provide opportunities to use Latin, to use Roman culture. Um, to educate, right? right? I mean, you exactly. got to get it. You exactly. Gotta, it's, so, it's such an it's important part of history. It's got to be hands-on. You've That's got right. to learn. Well, and, and if I if I had a history class where I was eating the whole time, I mean, <laughs> That's I would. the best way to learn. I would have I mean, gotten straight A's. You got, it goes in your head, it goes in your stomach, <laughs> and it goes yes. all over the place. Exactly. Well, Jason, thank you so much for coming on the show. Well, thank you very much for having so much. Yeah, yes. And for more information on the program, you can head to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Thank you so much.